need Spartan 117, Master Chief. No, you need a battle royale. That's what you need. In order for this game to go longer than three weeks after launch, what is he, what's that? from a spectating standpoint, it needs a BR. Damn. That clip hits a lot harder now than it did back in the release of Halo Infinite. So we're talking about it, guys. Does Halo Infinite need a BR? Well, the leaked rumors seem to show it might just happen. Plus, I bring fellow content creator Arash on board to talk about the potential of a battle royale within Halo Infinite. So let's get right into the details here. How's it going everybody? It's Kevin here once again, giving you another discussion about Halo, guys. If you like these kind of videos, make sure to tap that like button. Let me know you want to see some more content like this, and it also greatly helps out the video and channel within that all-famous YouTube algorithm, guys. So of course, we all know that famous Dr. Disrespect quote saying after three weeks, this game's gonna be dead, which wasn't necessarily the case. We actually kind of laughed at it when Halo Infinite launched, but now we're getting about five months after the release of Halo Infinite. Like, yeah, it was the beta back in November, but that was functionally the launch of the multiplayer. And that's kind of what Dr. Disrespect was referring to. Instead of being three weeks, it was about four months. Which, of course, I think he's getting a little bit more into hyperbole, where he's really trying to say, like, soon after the game's release, it's going to get pretty quiet, and, well, that's kind of where we are right now. Now, it could be because some of the issues that are going on with Halo Infinite, like desync and stuff like that kind of going on, the issue with ranks not really being that satisfying to go through, and the low amount of content with minimal updates that we've had since the launch of the game. All could be factors playing into the lower population that's kind of going on right now with Halo Infinite. But could it also just be because there is a lack of a big, new, flashy game that we've never really experienced in Halo before. Does Halo Infinite need that Battle Royale to fully succeed? Well, it looks like it could possibly happen according to this certain Affinity leaked rumor. So I've referenced this article in the past. Let's kind of go over it real quick so you get, we're all on the same page for this video here, guys. But it says certain Infinity is building a new game mode for Halo Infinite. This is not unfamiliar for certain Infinity. They've been working closely with 343 ever since 343 was given the reins of Halo. I mean, they're basically half the reason why Halo 4's multiplayer was even the way it was. They helped out with Halo 2 Anniversary and even helped out with Reach as well. So this project that they're working on is the code name known as Tatanka. So if you hear the Tatanka game mode being referenced, this is what they're talking about. And this article also goes in describing kind of what this mode looks to be. And when you hear the game references about it, you're like, okay, this might sound a little bit more real. As it says, several months out at this point, and is designed to be a more newcomer friendly experience that isn't as demanding competitively than existing multiplayer modes like big team battle and arena. So we're looking a little bit more casual with this thing. So maybe a little PVE elements kind of thrown into this possibly, but wait till you hear the games are referenced here saying it's also intended to entice users who are typically aren't interested in Halo, which I'd say pretty much anyone who's not playing Halo right now <laughs> at this point, uh, saying potentially targeting gamers on Fortnite, Call of Duty, A Warzone, and also Apex Legends, which I'm like, well, that's a battle royale. That's a battle royale in Apex Legends. Well, it, big surprise, it's a battle royale. And so I brought on my friend Arash here, guys. If you don't know him, go check out his channel, link in the description and in the pinned comment down below. We actually talk about the viability of a Halo Battle Royale or what kind of large third game mode does really kind of needed to be like the signature mode for Halo Infinite. So let's get right into it. Now, a quick word from today's sponsor, Ridge Wallet. Ridge recently reached out to me to ask me if I want to check out their product. And so far I've tried it out. And honestly, guys, I'm actually really enjoying this. Essentially what this is, it holds all your cards and your cash as well, but in a much smaller compact and also a more secure way. Now I had that traditional chonky leather wallet for the longest period of time. And honestly it felt kind of awkward to hold at some point just because it was so bulky. But once I was able to limit the size of that wallet down to just this, with all my cards and cash on hand, like I don't think I can ever go back. You know when you do that traditional check of like phone, keys, wallet. Well, so many times I reach for the wallet part and I'm like, oh gosh, did I forget it? I'm like, no, it's just Ridge. It's just that thin and compact and that easy to carry around. Ridge also has different types of styles you can have with your wallet as well and different types of products on top of that. They also have really great security along with just like ease of function and just overall just like a better product than you would normally expect out of just a simple product like a wallet or anything else. Now the reason why I mentioned security is because the Ridge wallet comes with an RFID blocker as well to stop you from any digital pit pocketers. So if you're interested in checking out Ridge wallet, which I highly suggest you should check them out guys. Honestly, it's great stuff. You can use my link in the description and in the pinned comment down below to get yourself 
15% off when you use the code KevinCoolX at checkout. So thank you, Ridgewallet, for sponsoring this video. Let's get right back into the content here. And plus, we had that rumored uh, certain affinity mode, which is supposed to be kind of like a really bigger casual mode coming to yeah. Halo Infinite now. I, I'm getting when I hear that I get my hopes up probably too much. Some people say firefight, some people say it's battle royale. Maybe it's just like another version of big team battle. I don't know. <laughs> you know. Oh god. <laughs> Imagine What's if it's that? like brought back. Well, it was just like strongholds for like big team battle. And that's like their. Cool That'd be mode. just great. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, to me, honestly, like I liked firefight. I like battle royale games, but I think it would be cool to see Halo take a crack at something that isn't already kind of out in the gaming landscape. Whether or not they do, obviously, is up in the air. Maybe that's a bit riskier because bringing Firefight back is kind of like a slam dunk. You know, people have liked Firefight for years. Battle Royale, it is a bit of a risk because that's such an oversaturated market, but also at the same time, it's kind of not a risk. As long right. as you do it kind of well, you know people will play it. So, yeah, just I don't get, know. Just make I, it good. That's all you gotta do. Yeah, yeah just make it good. <laughs> and and I think Halo has the sandbox for a good Battle Royale. So I, oh, yeah. I imagine if if that mode from certain affinity is a firefight mode or a Battle Royale, I think it'll do, be, it'll do fine. But I do think it'd be really cool to see, to see instead of Halo kind of try to to kind of use things that it has or use things that are successful if we saw something totally new that had the chance to just take over the whole gaming landscape similar to how battle royale did like four or five years ago i think that would be sick but mm -hmm. that's oh, yeah. probably i think i'm i'm giving too much hopium there <laughs> <laughs> and most most likely we'll see something a little safer yeah i was wondering like i don't want to get my hopes up but yet i do because they yeah. put, I think Sir Infinity was also the team that put together Dominion, if I remember correctly, which is like a fan favorite yeah. from Halo 4, and people love that. I mode. mean, personally, I really liked Warzone. I think you could, mm -hmm. I think you could bring Warzone back into this game with some adjustments, obviously, to yeah. get rid of the Rex system, and I think that could be a sick mode. But yeah. uh, mm -hmm. I thought like because, Warzone was so close to being really good. Just like, just like, just yeah. like AI battles didn't really feel that engaging, especially the person who, whoever puts the last shot and gets all the points. It's just really a really frustrating experience at least from my hand for experience with playing it but like doing like that first person shooter moba kind of game mode which, yeah that's kind of what they went yeah, at yeah and never, I, we I never thought it was really super seen, cool yeah we haven't seen anything like that even since halo 5 either and i think there's certainly certainly with halo 5's ai or halo infinite's ai i should say when it comes to like campaign stuff like it's certainly there like they could definitely pull off something really cool I, I i think maybe this is a hot take but i think maybe the ceiling for success of a revamped war zone is lower than a battle royale but yeah. i actually think it would be a lot safer like i think you put Warzone in you bring back all the h5 Warzone fans that because there was a there's a big niche community for it you you attract a lot of the, the casual players playing infinite i think that would be safer than trying a battle royale which just could totally flop due to oversaturation because like you said nobody else is really trying that pve vp like game mode at the moment i i think there's actually space for them to do that again and to do it well because warzone was so close it i think the biggest thing holding it back was h5's game mode gameplay obviously and then the rec system where you had these one use p things that you had to purchase with either in-game credits or real money and then if you use them they were gone so it like de-incentivized you from using your cool stuff but if they find a way to do that better where you're not you're not you know it's not pay to win and you're not necessarily wasting a week worth of grinding to summon a rocket launcher i'm being a little uh <laughs> i'm being i'm exaggerating a little bit yeah. there but uh you get the point so if they if they could figure out how to revamp that bring back the weapon variants because those are sick and like we already have some of them with the campaign variants but some of those weapon variants in h5 were so fun and they they made custom games more fun so i actually think warzone has a knock-on effect of actually helping the rest of the game also where you you make forge better you make custom games better and you bring in warzone i think warzone actually has a, a lot more potential and i feel like the fact that so many people ask for battle royale rather than just a revamped warzone is actually like i understand why but i think more people should ask for warzone that's 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 my uh my my final word i will say that the, uh, the mechanics are there already in halo infinite for a uh, like a battle royale because like we played attrition there's that circle mechanic you just kind of randomize the location of the final circle uh you have weapon variants you have a big huge world of zeta halo you can just probably just utilize the campaign maps honestly 
and just you know maybe play some random spawns maybe some points of interest maybe not even maybe not even have to do that i mean you can keep the hvts in there and they can have those if you kill them you can use like the special weapons or whatever yeah you know? that would and, be cool and, and like you can use equipment when you want to rather than right when you pick it up which i think would be needed for a battle royale as well i mean like again like the possibilities are there it's just man, depends the, what uh, do. like a a battle royale utilizing some warzone mechanics might be kind of cool mm -hmm. if there was like those bosses littered around the map where you had to go kill them and then you got a powerful weapon it wouldn't be the most balanced or competitive thing in terms of battle royales but i think for a casual experience that would be a ton of fun i think it'd be a great way to implement like more powerful weapons like you have to risk you know for revealing your location making all that noise getting inside of an engagement but then most likely your shields will recharge as well though as i would hope that would happen <laughs> and you get a yeah. chance to have like a much more powerful weapon which i think would totally be worth uh, the balance there 